Welcome to the Mercy Tiara Kit Club Summer Love and Kit Reveal. Whether you're documenting beach days, picnics, or garden parties, this kit has everything you need to make your summer memories last forever. Tiara, and I'm coming at you today with the Summer Love and Kit. I have the main kit, I have the embellishment add-on, I have the paper pack, and I also have the cardstock add-on, and this month we also have a small but mighty kit, and I also have the newsletter here. The cut files are over here on hand. I have pre-cut my cut files and I will show those to you as well because every month the main kit does come with cut files. So I'm gonna start by jumping into the main kit. I'll take some of these other ones out of here. And if you're interested in picking up one of these kits, they are live over at mercytiarakits.com. These kits have just released on July 1st of 2024. Here is what comes in the main kit. Now this is a printable file that comes with all of the main kits. Every month you get a coordinating set of labels. Also included with the digitals are some cut files so that every month there's always a background cut file which I have pre-cut here. This is the actual cut file. So it's like these beautiful scallops. They look a little bit like a mermaid or a fish scales. I just really love them. I love that you can use them anyway. And I love that it's got this kind of like a wonky hand-drawn look instead of looking too perfectly computer made. The second cut file includes these adorable little shapes. I can't wait to use that title Summer Lovin' and the sun. Those clouds are gonna be really fun to work with as well. And also a little banner flag banner to, to cut out as well. So those are the digital files. And then this is the physical stuff that comes with this kit. This first paper is from Simple Stories. The collection is called Summer Snapshots and the paper is called Happy Days. And just look at this beautiful color scheme. The oranges and yellows are so gorgeous. There's just a little bit of pink in there too and lots of light blue and some green. It's just so, so pretty, so colorful. Now the back side of this one is this beautiful, it's a very rich coral color and it's a ledger paper with these columns. Ledger papers make fantastic backgrounds. I love me a ledger paper background, you guys know that, but it also makes a really great journaling piece. So you could cut pieces, cut chunks out of this, or you could die cut or punch some pieces and they will already have the, the lines on them for journaling. So it's perfect for that. Now, if you get the main kit, you will get one each of each of these papers that I'm showing you. But if you get the extra pattern paper add-on, like I have here, you will get an extra of each piece. So I'm going to put the back side of this one right here that you can still see it as we show the rest of the papers. So the next paper in the kit is also from the Summer Snapshots collection. This one is called Keep It Sunny and I adore this one. It has all these little lemon wedges with little squares. Those squares look a little bit like maybe ice cubes or sugar cubes. Really, really cute. And I love this tone on tone yellow paper. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. But get a load of the backside. Simple Stories really knows how to do a nice rainbow stripe. Their stripes are always gorgeous and bold. And I just love that. This one works really, really well with this floral right here. Of course, it's from the same collection, so they're gonna work really, really easily and well together. Next, we have from the Simple Stories Summer Snapshots collection, we have Let's Go Outside. And this one has a whole bunch of beach balls on a light blue background with a wonky grid. This is so fun and I love how it picks up on all of the colors in the stripe, of course. It's just beautiful and fun. The flip side of this is this gorgeous navy blue with a gridded dot pattern in all of the colors in the collection. The next piece of paper is also from Summer Snapshots and it is called Tag Elements. And this one is really great because it has all of these grids and lines on the tags. You can cut these into tags and use them as embellishments on your project, but you could also use the center parts of these as journaling pieces and use the tops as little embellishments. So you could, you could cut out just the top of this and tuck it behind something. It looks like it has a tag tucked underneath, but then you can rescue this part and use these lines for journaling somewhere else on your page or on a whole different page. So that's what I love about this. The flip side of this 
has the same tags, but with these beautiful patterns and elements on them. Now you could easily cut out some of these elements and use them as embellishments on your page, but you could also cut out all of these tags. If you don't get these on your pages by the end of the month and your next kit is coming, make sure you cut these into the tags and put it in with your gift wrap supplies because this is a really great way to personalize a gift as well. So staying with the Summer Snapshots collection for a little bit longer, we have this orange background with beautiful pink little flowers. This is a gorgeous pattern and I love how dense it is. I love that a small amount of it will still allow you to see a nice portion of the pattern. Makes a great layering page. The back side is this beautiful green. I love this shade of green and it has all these little lines on it. So, so pretty very versatile as well. Now I am in love with quirky patterns and this seagull pattern from also from Snum summer snapshots and this paper is called three by four elements and this was supposed to be the b-side of this one but I just love this one so much that I'm considering it to be the a-side for the purposes of this kit but it has these adorable seagulls all over it and if you are scrapbooking beach photos, you probably have some seagulls in the background. So this paper is gonna work really, really well as a layering element or even a background element if you're feeling super bold. Now the flip side of this has these three by four cut aparts and I love three by four cut aparts. I do pocket scrapbooking, so these are really handy to have on hand for that, but they're also really great for just using as elements on your 12 by 12 pages or whatever size pages you do. It says, stay cool, good times and tan lines, sweet memories, hello there sunshine, hello summer. I really love this one with the, with the porch swing and the little hat and the really cute cushions. I wish I could have cushions with those patterns on it. Then we have our stripe with the names of the, of the colors on it. Those, that's that same stripe from right here. We have another beach scene, a summer of adventure, and I really love this for pocket scrapping. That's great. This one is really great for sc pocket scrapping too. Smile and life is sweet. So awesome. I love these, but I love this one too. I am so happy to have two of this because I'll definitely want to use those three by four cards, but you know me, I love me some quirky animal prints. Next we have from Echo Parks Have a Nice Day collection. We have this very neutral peach shade grid. So one thing to know about the Mercy Tiara kits is that the, the order of the paper is actually carefully decided. So they're not just thrown in the kit bag in any order. I actually take quite a bit of time to think about how to lay out these papers to better inspire you to use them on your projects. And I try to lay them out in a way that shows you some combinations that might work together that maybe you wouldn't think of putting together. So, uh, and I also choose the A side or the B side based on the same thing. So when you take apart your kit, do be mindful of the order because they are ordered like that for a reason. So I'm going to place this right here. Now on the back side of this, we have these four by six cut aparts, which are obviously really great for pocket scrapping, but they also work really great on your layouts. So this one in particular, I mean, I love this. Be the reason someone smiles today. That's just awesome. But I adore this red and white checker pattern. It picks up on the reds that are in the watermelon. Then we have this smile card that has these flowers. They're a little bit different art style, but the color really works with this pattern over here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see more of that. These happy faces are just so fun and energetic. I had to include them in the kit. I know happy faces aren't everybody's jam, and so that's why this side is the A side for the purposes of the kit. This would make a beautiful background paper. Next from Sunny Days Ahead from Echo Park, we have this beautiful floral. Now this floral picks up on some of the oranges and yellows that you will see in some of the other patterns that come from the Simple Stories Summer Snapshots collection, but it introduces purple, which I know 
we don't see much purple in scrapbooking, so whenever I see some, I like to include it because I know lots of you guys enjoy your purple. Purple isn't for everyone. The flip side is a very usable gingham pattern with two different shades of orange, like a dark orange and a light orange. So very, very usable, especially works really well with this. It works well with this and this and, and really, really well with that because of those orange flowers. So that is fantastic. Next, we have this map paper from Simple Stories Just Be Beachy Collection. It includes pink lines and yellow lines and these orange geotags. So cute. On the flip side of that, we have this orange pattern with these repeating palm trees. They're just so cute. I think that this would look really nice just cut as a strip and used as a horizontal border on your on a ledge layout, for example. Another orange from Have a Nice Day. This one has this tone on tone star motif, so, so pretty. And I love these tone on tone papers. They make really nice mats. They make really nice layers. They're just gorgeous. The flip side of this, it almost looks like a quilt. It's all of these happy faces with petals around them to make them into flowers. And they're each on a square. You could cut up these squares and use these as embellishments. Next, we have another one from the Sunny Days Ahead collection. This one is called Six by Four Journaling Cards. And it has this beautiful, it's a similar art style to this one. They're from the same collection. It's a floral that has a bit of a looser feel to it. This one would be really great for fussy cutting because these flowers are a little bit bigger than these ones. These ones would look amazing fussy cut. That's a lot of fussy cutting to do, whereas these I think are a little bit more conducive to the fussy cutting. Really, really pretty. And again, I love the introduction of the purple. On the flip side of that one are these six by four cut aparts. Great for pocket scrapping, also great for any other smaller scale, but these make great little titles. You could, for example, even fussy cut this title out or use this whole card as part of your title. Really love this for journaling. Last but not least, we have a piece from the Sunny Days Ahead. This one from Echo Park. This one is a beautiful fluffy cloud on a blue background. This is awesome. I really, really love this. And the flip side is a beautiful yellow pattern with a little tri-dot pattern on it. Okay, so let's take a look at the embellishments that come in the main Summer Lovin' Kit. First of all, we have a set of thickers. These are from Vicki Booten's Mixed Media Collection, her recent collection. And I just love these. They are white with a black outline for the font and they have this newsprint behind them. And as you can see, they're matte. These are actually designed to be used with mixed media. So you could mist these, you could ink them, you could do a whole number of things to customize these to your page. And I think they would look amazing if you've got some orange ink or something or mist or pink or green or any of these colors would look amazing with these. I also love the idea of using them plain. I think that they're just gorgeous as they are. And especially with such colorful papers, sometimes a nice white title can really stand out under certain circumstances. So I'm looking forward to using these in a variety of different ways and I just love them. They're beautiful font. Next, we have these element stickers from the Sunny Days Ahead collection from Echo Park. And these stickers are flat. They're not too shiny, so they're a little bit matte. And they have such fun elements like roller skates and an ice cream truck and a pinwheel. This says lovely day and sunshine, icy cool treats, bring on the sunshine, some florals, a little cooler with some nice cool drinks in it. And look at this. I am in love with this little citrusy border here. We also have a number of different word or phrase stickers down here in a variety of different colors and we have a a scalloped border with the holes and it. it's like an apron lace scalloped border. It's very very pretty. Love it with all of the little dots and it's white. Let's have a look at this amazing sequin mix. Scott outdid himself with this sequin mix because this <laughs> I say this every time but this is my favorite, my all-time favorite sequin mix. 
Love, love, love. So if you have a keen eye, you will notice that there are some little fruit shapes mixed in with the sequins. There are some strawberries, some citrus fruits, some watermelons. So cute. I think there might even be an avocado in there, a strawberry. They're just so cute. Love these. In an assortment of sizes as well, which makes them really easy to use. We also have a little assortment of hand-picked embellishments here. You will get an assortment of green tickets, yellow stamps, and blue tickets, and which ones you get will vary. You will also get an assortment of four little neutral buttons. They will be various designs and sizes. And then you'll also get a little yellow corduroy heart that works really well with this collection. Then we also get a set of die cuts. These are journal bits from the Summer Snapshots collection from Simple Stories. And I'm not going to show you every single one of them, but I do want to show you an assortment. So let me just pick out a bunch so that you can get a sense of the quality of these. So there's always an assortment of sizes as well. So these ones that I'm showing you first are the smallish ones. Don't forget that the main kit also comes with printable labels that you can print at home or send out to the to Staples or wherever you get your printer, your stuff printed. And it also comes with cut files, which includes this large background cut file, as well as the smaller icon cut files as well. So I left the papers out so that you can see how the embellishment kit works with the main kit, but the embellishment kit only comes with embellishments. And this is for those of you who just can't get enough embellishments. I am always like that. I am one of those embellishment loving people. So for me, the embellishment kit is always my favorite part of any kit. I'll start by showing the decorative brads from the Just Beachy collection. So I always try to make the embellishment kit take a little bit of a different spin on the main kit so that you can get even more looks with it. So this one really plays on some of the brighter colors in the Just Beachy collection. It picks up on this super bright pink and also really bright oranges and yellows. These look really great with the collections that have less bright colors because they just pop, like they really add a lot to the, I mean, these are bright too, but these are even brighter. So it's a really nice way to embellishment, embellish some of these pages, even if you're going across across collections. So the Just Beachy ones will work with the Summer Snapshot collection. They actually work really, really well with it. It also includes these little chipboard pieces, which I think are just enough. We don't have other chipboard elements in this kit, so this is a really nice way to have some, some chipboard. Next, you will get an assortment of three different frames. These frames are from the Summer Snapshots collection from Simple Stories, and it's a partial pack. I felt like the full pack was just a lot of chipboard frames to have to use in one month. So I thought breaking it up like this would give us a chance to have a more of a variety within the embellishment kit with the same price point and give you a chance to use some frames, but not feel so much pressure to use six of them in one month. So you will get, you might get these three or you might get a different three, but there will be two big and one small. There's also this set of letter stickers. Not every single embellishment kit comes with a second set of letters, but many of them do. And I do that for a reason because I really do love combining letter stickers to get different looks. And I like being able to have subtitles or, you know, put names or dates onto a page using these beautiful foam letter stickers. These are from the Joyful Notes collection from Pink Paisley. They're navy blue and they're just gorgeous. They pick up on, obviously there's plenty of navy in this collection, so it's a great match. Then we have ephemera pieces from the Sunny Days Ahead collection. This is the assortment that comes in this pack. Really cute. And I'll just give you a sense of how they look. Look, we've got some more little uh, citrus fruits or phrases as well. Oh, I love that sun and a whole assortment more. And last but not least for the embellishment kit, we have these floral bits from the Just Beachy collection. 
If you're not a lover of fussy cutting, floral bits is a great alternative to cutting up a piece of paper like this. Look at the little leaves. Oh, I am in love with these. They're so nice. There's even a feather in this one. Oh my goodness, I am just going to. And I like that there's a combination of big ones and small ones, little pieces. This is perfect. Perfect for people like me who don't love fussy cutting. So I'm just going to hold these up so that you can get a sense of what they look like. Have that. This, by the way, is all of the pieces that come in this. Now, if you get the cardstock add-on, you will get two pieces each of four different shades of cardstock. So these make great backgrounds. They also are great for die cutting and using as layers and lots of different things in your pages. So we'll get two pages, two pieces of this textured cardstock from Simple Stories. Color Vibe. So on one side it is solid on, and on the other side it is polka dotted. And that color is apricot. And then we get two pieces of Buttercup. So it's the same brand. It's the same kind of cardstock from Simple Stories. It has dots on one side and then it is solid on the other side. And it's a very slight texture as well. Then we get uh, two pieces of Smooth Potter's Clay cardstock from Basil. This is like a craft, but it is softer and lighter than a craft. And it's going to look gorgeous if you use it as sand, for example, on your layout. It's just beautiful for summer and it's not as orangey as a typical craft is either and then we have two pieces of avalanche white white is such a great staple to have i always feel like i can never have enough white cardstock so there's more white in this kit as well so next i wanted to just show you our newsletter every kit comes with an mtk newsletter the front of it talks a little bit about whatever's new to the kit club or anything that happened, little stories that I want to tell you. It always includes a photo of the main kit for that month. It gives you information about our Instagram and our Facebook group, which please make sure that you check out our Facebook group. It is called Mercy Tiara Kit Club, and we have lots of inspiration and fun ideas and events going on over there. Every month we also have a color palette that helps you choose colors from your own supplies like mists and inks or cardstock or whatever you might have that you want to select to specifically to coordinate with the kit. Each month also has a number of journaling prompts that are specific to the kit. Then we also always have either a community corner or a community spotlight. This month we have our very first community spotlight and we are featuring our wonderful friend Stephanie Mahoney who has been using our kits from the very very beginning. I love her scrap room so I had to include a picture of her room. There's Stephanie herself as well as two of her pages. If you're interested in seeing even more about Stephanie there's a post on our Facebook page that introduces Stephanie and has even more information that didn't fit into our newsletter. The middle part of our newsletter is always dedicated to our kit planning tool. And so this is a tool that I developed to help me use my scrapbooking kits each month. So it gives you a place to write down products in this kit that speak to me, stories that I want to tell, list of photos that I have to find, list of photos that I have to take, techniques to try this month, tools and stash items that I want to use with this kit. You know, sometimes you're unboxing and you think, oh, I've got a dye that looks really similar to that flower. It's a good time to write that down so that you don't forget to use it throughout the month. Ephemera to support my stories this month. So maybe I have some packaging that I want to make sure I hang on to if I'm telling a story about my daughter's graduation gift or whatever. Then the last part of this includes a page that's just dedicated to sketches. There are 12 spaces across and down on these little sketch spaces so that you can scale your little sketch to match the products that you have. There's also a little place to put your plan for what you want to do with this page. So if you want to use a specific paper, you can write that down right there. There's also a space to help you plan out your journaling. I know sometimes I tell longer stories and I wanna make sure that in my handwriting, I wanna know kind of like how big it's gonna look or I might wanna put it down so that I don't forget any words or just not like um, trying to come up with things off the top of my head. So that's just basically a place for jotting down your journaling. 
a little reminder there to not forget about the downloads because they're important and they come in a separate email after you buy your kit. The last page is always dedicated to our sketch challenge or so occasionally we have a non-sketch challenge, but it's usually a sketch challenge over on our Facebook group. So this is the sketch. It's brought to us this month by Creative Scrappers. Christine Davidson makes my favorite sketches. I love these sketches and I've been using them for many, many years. You can check her out at creativescrappers.bigcartel.com. There's also some tips there for how to use sketches and Every month, if you complete this sketch and post it on our Facebook group, you will be eligible to win a $25 Canadian gift certificate to our shop. So that's great too. So that's the newsletter. And then the other special thing that we have this month is back by popular demand, we have our small but mighty kit. So this kit is designed to bridge the gap between your 12 by 12 scrapbooking and your smaller scale scrapbooking. For me, this is pocket scrapping. I do 12 by 12 pocket scrapping. I'm also gonna be dabbling in six by eight pocket scrapping this year as well. But for some people, this might mean traveler's notebooks or memory planning or using Heidi Swap's storyline chapters books or journaling in a art journal or something like that, right? So you can even make cards out of these supplies. So these small but mighty kits are actually designed to span a couple of months worth of 12 by 12 scrapbooking kits. It includes the summer snapshots collection here. This is a full six by eight paper pad. I will, I have my own out here. I've actually already used my kit. So I will take my own out and show you the papers that come in this one. I'll do a little flip through. Mine has been used, so it doesn't have every single page in there, but this is what the paper pad looks like. So there's some of these papers show up in the kit as well. So you'll have smaller scale versions of the same pattern, which is also really handy to have for even for your 12 by 12 pages, you could put some of these in there. It also includes an assortment of flat letter stickers. Flat letter stickers are great for mini albums and pocket pages because oftentimes we're trying to avoid putting too, too, too much dimension in those, in those projects. So we have a number of different letter sets that work really well with this paper pad in particular, but spoiler alert, these will also coordinate well with the next kit. Although the next kit is going to have a very, very different color scheme to it. So, and a different feel than most of our kits. So the next kit is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, you will find that some, not all, but some of these will coordinate with the next kit. And some, but some of these papers will also coordinate with the next kit. So we have, these are from Simple Stories. They're six by eight solids in an assortment of different colors. And the red and the blue will work really well with next month's kit, more so than with this month's kit. And so you will get two each of all of these colors of solid six by eight, as well as all of these letter stickers and a full paper pad. And that will be the Small But Mighty kit. Now, if you're into pocket scrapbooking, this way of pocket scrapbooking has become my very favorite way to pocket scrapbook. I find that I don't have to have a whole bunch of dedicated project life or pocket cards on hand that are pre-designed for me because I have enough leftovers from my 12 by 12. And then if I have something like this, the beauty of the six by eight size is that if you cut it in half this way, you have two six by eight cards. And then you can decorate them up and put them in your pockets. If you cut it like this and then like this, then you have four three by four cards. Obviously, you could also do one four by six and two three by fours. You can cut them up any way that you want to fill up your pockets. If you follow me on my pocket pages, you know that the other thing that I love to do with these papers is score them at the halfway point and fold them and make a flip with them so that my pocket pages are more interactive and it also gives me an opportunity to have more tactile parts of my paper crafting on the outsides of the pockets. So this Small But Mighty kit is available in our shop this month, so make sure that you pick it up and it will be 
It will do you probably through the whole summer of scrapbooking and maybe even into the fall. So those are our kits for this month. Please check out our website if you'd like to pick up any of these kits for a month's worth of scrapbooking. And make sure that you also head on over to our Facebook group. Join us over there where there's lots of scrappy inspiration and chatting going on. Until next time, have a really great scrappy week. Thank you.